is a new day to try to get right This is a new day to get on track Yeah, that's life in football This is a new day to live your life This is a new day to try to get right This is a new day to get on track Yeah, that's life in football It's life in football We are life in football You are now listening to the Life in Football podcast. Check out the new website, lifeinfootball.com. Once again, the website is lifeinfootball.com. Thanks for listening. Welcome to the Life in Football podcast, baby. I'm your host, Mike Fee. And this is your host, Cole Lamore. You know we love life and enjoying football. Today, our very special guest is Miss Lynn Mitzel. She's the director of football operations at Missouri State University. The Bears, baby, and they got a real nice stadium. They wear some real fly uniform, and it's a program I think a lot more people need to know about because they playing some big time football up there. One of their head, the head coach, actually, was a premier D1 head coach at once upon a time. So this is a place I think a lot of young men who are interested in the game of football might need to really look into. And Ms. Mitchell, she's doing a great job up there. She's handling business at the um, football operations. And on top of that, she's well known in the football world. She came from Coach Carolina, where she graduated from. She had she got a degree in business, and she's a very enlightened lady. She's, you know, a person that's gonna get you to the next level in life, not just football, fella. And this is gonna be a great interview. And we're going to go ahead and get to it. See Mo, bring her on. How you doing today, Miss Messer? I'm good. How are you doing? Good is good. It's, hey, it's a blessing to have you on. Well, thank you so much for having me. Now, I, I got to jump right into it. Your picture had my attention right from the start. You said this was, you just finished your 19th year of fall camp and your 20th year D1. Now, I want to know where did it all start and when, like, really, when did you know you wanted to be in the football world? I kind of fell into it. Um, I had absolutely no that this is where I wanted to be or what I wanted to do. Um, like you mentioned, I went to Coastal Carolina University. I went there to be a marine science major. And I in geology class, and I was like, nope, this is not for me. Uh, so when I kind of realized that that wasn't really what I wanted to do, I was working in the athletic department. I was working kind of game management um, operations for a couple of different uh, associates. I had worked for them for about a year when Coastal started football program and that fall of um it was 2001 2002 um that first fall that they had they didn't play any games they just practiced they scrimmaged the the person that I worked for in the athletic department was like hey you know you kind of you know the ropes why don't you go over there and help out football because knew they don't really Um, have a lot of people helping out so that's how I got started with Coastal's football program I worked in the office uh, just work and administrative type stuff and got along really well with the staff and all the coaches and when spring ball rolled around um, a few months later they were like hey why don't you you know come out be a manager help out with practice this kind of stuff so I did that. Um, I also, I, I gave tours when we had recruits on campus, that kind of stuff. Kind of grew from there, my responsibilities and my job duties. So uh, I worked with them all throughout um, the rest of my uh, college. When I graduated in uh, May of 2005, they hired me on full time. So it just, like I said, I just kind of fell into it. it. It was never my goal or my intention, but fell into it, fell in love with it. Uh, I just, I 
worked mainly administrative stuff for the next few years. And then in 2012, when the new staff came in, the, the, the guy that became our director of football time felt like I was being kind of underutilized in my role. So he took me over into the ops office with him. And that's just, that's really where I found my niche. I, I fell in love with operations and, fell in love with what I'm doing now and just can't imagine doing anything else. So God pretty much blessed you to not like uh, yep. that first class and then took off from there <laughs> and then he put you on this wing. So that really opened up the door. So when did you know that, okay, one day I'm going to be the DFO, the director of football operations did you feel it coming or how when did you actually know like hey it's my turn is it I, I should I should be able to run this now I I really didn't I don't think I really realized it was it was what I wanted to do it was where I you know where I wanted to progress in my career right up until it happened I um it got to a point at Coastal where I kind of really I realized it was time for me to grow. I had been there for so long. I I've been there since the program started and I had never experienced anything else outside of coastal football. So I started to get to the point where I was like, okay, maybe I need to branch out. Maybe I need to try some a new place, new scenery, just as much for myself personally as professionally. And so I started looking for jobs and I, honestly, I didn't initially look for any jobs as the DFO. I was looking at assistant DFOs. I was work, looking at, you know, some other things. And when the job out here at Missouri State became available, I knew somebody within the athletic department. Um, it was one of the associate athletic directors that I had worked for at Coastal, she's out here at Missouri State. So I saw the job come open and I just kind of reached out to her and said, hey, you know, do you know if this is still available? Because as you know, like a, a lot of jobs that come open in this field, usually they've already got somebody in mind or, you know, you've got to have some kind of connection to get your foot in the door. And she was like, Yes, absolutely. If you're interested in it, I'll call the head coach right now. So again, I was just super blessed to know somebody that was able to put me in a position to speak to the head coach. And it it really, it was funny and kind of the way it worked out because prior to this, I had been on so many interviews. I had been I had been on Skype interviews. I had been to a couple of on-campus interviews and everything just kind of kept, you know, falling through the cracks. And then when this one came about, I literally talked to the head coach on the phone twice, maybe for 15, 20 minutes each time. And he was just like, if you want the job, it's yours. He, it, we just had, we had a really good conversation both times. And um, I think he, passionate I was about what I do and about wanting to you know start someplace fresh and really make an impact and it just like you said God blessed me and it, it it all worked out for the best and and I got the I got the job I I still can't believe sometimes that you know I'm actually the DFO at a division one but here I am Lynn, I got to know, how was it for you growing up in Ohio and who helped you to become the person that you are today? Uh, it was cold. I will, t I will tell you that I had, I lived at the beach for so long. Uh, those, those Ohio winters are something else. And I'm, unfortunately I'm, I'm getting back to those, uh, out here in Missouri, but and truly I, I owe so much to my parents. They have always been my biggest supporters, they've, you know, they've always encouraged me, they've always believed in me, you know, when I, when I was at Coastal, before I had gone into the operations, when I was still working with the football program, you know, I wasn't making a lot of money, but they knew that I absolutely loved what I did, they knew I loved my job, they knew I loved, 
being there and they they really helped me and supported me through so much and just always always taught me to just keep going and and how much I was capable of and they've never never not believed in me you know something so much greater than where I was at than where I am now it's really because of them that you know, they see sometimes bigger dreams for me than I see for myself. So they they really have had the most impact on my life. And without them being that motivation, like they're the reason that I keep going and they're the reason that I want to be the best that I can be every day just just to make them proud. Miss Lynn, this is my last question. And with you being the director of football operation. I want a little insight of the things that you guys are doing at Missouri State to help the guys be successful outside of the game of football and when they're getting ready to graduate. Well, I think for me, um, for me personally, a big part of my job is the relationships that I build with our players and kind of the rapport I have with them uh, my guys I have a lot of them um, I have a lot of them call me auntie they know that they can come to me for anything and for me it's really important that they know that my office is a safe place for them to come and to talk about anything not just football not just school to talk about girlfriend problems to talk about family problems to talk about not just when things are going wrong but when they're excited to tell me about things that are going right and my goal is to build those bonds with them that last long after they've graduated you know I've got guys from coastal that they graduated years ago that still reach out to me if they need a letter of recommendation or if they need um, advice or help help with something. They they know that I am always, no matter where I'm at, no matter where they are, no matter how long it's been since we've spoken to each other, they can use me as a resource for anything in their lives. And pro goes I think ultimately you know we want to win football game good season tips um but like goal is always to graduate like that's that's and I always the student athlete the student comes before the athlete so that's the most important part is going to class getting your degree having those options you know, everybody wants to play college football. Everybody wants to go to the league. They want to go to the next level. And even if they are hard enough and they're fortunate enough and they're blessed enough to get to that level, it's, it's going to end. You're not going to play football your life. And so my, what well, we try to read the guys and, and get them to focus on is what are you going to do when going to do you've always got that degree to fall back on what do you want to do with your life it's not there anymore and that's really what we try to to push to them to understand the importance of you know we want everybody to make it to the league we want you to realize your dreams and and be successful and and be you know be a great player at the next level and you know but eventually that what are you going to do with that when it's over and some of the things we've done recently to help them realize uh, we have a few speakers come in while we're in camp and one of them a, a gentleman that had actually played for coach Petrino before and he's a financial advisor and you know a lot of Nowadays, they they think, oh, you know, we got somebody coming to speak. You know, it's going to be boring. We, but um, his name was Travis Swanson, and he did a great job of talking to the guys about managing their money, even when they get to the, if they get to the next level, if they don't get to the next level, 
you know, the importance of knowing um, how to wisely spend how to get money, you know, what to do with it. Everything nowadays is um, this name, image, and likeness, NIL stuff. And we guys that are making those kind of deals. So we kind of really pushed, you know, being smart with your what are some things you can do, some options you can have, um, you know, how are you going to make yourself, not just yourself, but also your family, provide for your family and make financially stable laws over. Well, y'all heard it right here, man. That's Miss Lynn Mincer, and she's the director of football operation at Missouri State University for the Bears, baby. And I'm telling you, this is a top-notch program. I love everything she just said and she was talking about. And mainly, guys, it's about improving your life. And that's what all players should consider is, how can I be successful while playing the game of football and after the game of football? So this was great to hear, and I just got to show her love and thank her again for coming on, and I'm going to leave y'all how I always leave y'all. Keep your head up and not down, or else you'll fall to the ground. This is the Life in Football Podcast. Catch you next time. This is a new day to live your life. This is a new day to try to get right. This is a new day to get on track. Yeah, that's life in football. This is a new day to live your life. This is a new day to try to get right. This is a new day to get on track. Yeah, that's life in football. It's life in football. We are life in football.